WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go on the trading day. And we got markets hanging around negative territory so far. Dow Jones, negative 67 points, trading at 26,344. Got the S&Ps currently negative by seven, trading at 28.99. And NASDAQ, negative by 34 points, trading at 79.49. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. Looking at the June futures contract, currently trading 26,000, excuse me, 346. Pretty much a slow slide since early this morning, 7.30 a.m. We're trading at 26,472, down more than 100 points from that level. We made lows just after noon Eastern time, 26,317, up slightly from that level, 26,345. NASDAQ 100, we trade lower from about 9.30, right at the opening bell of 76.57. Excuse me, trade down to 75.99 before climbing a bit, 76.23 in the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps, similar chart formation. There's your opening bell bar reaching 29.13, currently trading at 29.04, looking at those June futures. Haven't quite dipped below 2,900 in the futures. We made it close, 2,970 cents or 70.7 points, but not quite under that 2,900 point. Crude oil with some volatility as well in both directions. We were up there at 63.87 just after 10 a.m. this morning. Crude spikes lower all the way down to about 63.20. From there, we're trading at 63.47. And gold getting quite a bid off of, where are we? Yes, off of that lows at around 9.30 of 12.85. We're up about $7 from that level with gold trading at 12.92.35. And the euro trading above 1.30, 1.30.07. In terms of what else you have happening out there, it has already been some earnings kicking off the, the earnings calendar, we'll call it. Uh, Goldman Sachs down 3.2% today as they beat on earnings, miss on revenue. City, much the same. Beat on earnings, missed on revenue. City not down as big of a factor. And then we have some giants coming up for the rest of the week. We're going to get Morgan Stanley, which is down 1.2%. You can expect that, of course, just with the banks. Bank of America coming out this week as well, 1.5. And tomorrow, we get Netflix. And ahead of that news, down 1.8%, extending those losses from Friday. And Disney, extending the gains up 1.5%. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien Show live from 3 till 5.